Hello, I'm Ramon Kodai, a 25-year-old with high function autism a day. We're going to do a movie review of A Beautiful Mind. I'm sure many of you have seen the film. It came out almost 10 years ago, actually 9 years ago. Um, I really enjoyed the movie, and I went back and I watched it again, and uh, I really enjoyed it again watching it again. You know, actually, I watched it many times. I've seen it like a dozen times. I've been watching it like five years, and I'm really surprised actually at the quality level of the acting in, in the film. Um, I think Ron Howard's directing style is not necessarily the best, but the, it has a solid screenplay, solid acting. Um, but let's look at it in terms of autism. Uh, we know that John Nash has schizophrenia, or had schizophrenia. Um, but I also think, at least as it's portrayed in the film, that he also has a form of autism, maybe Asperger's syndrome. I believe the person uh, who wrote the screenplay had Asperger's syndrome because I remember, like in the Academy Awards, just saying something about, um, you know, how he had the opportunity to write about this disability. So maybe this person put some of their own personality, the writer, you know, the screenwriter might put some of their own personality into the writer, or uh, John Nash might very well have, you know, like Asperger's syndrome or high function autism. And I'm going to give my reasons, um, and I think I have very solid evidence for that, at least based off of the movie. First of all, he's really crazy about noticing patterns. And I don't know if it's necessarily, I don't think it's a schizophrenia about the pattern part. We do see him in his own world, actually. Um, but that own world does include, like, imaginary people. Um, but, you know, in his own world, he starts to notice all these crazy patterns with, you know, magazines and periodicals. Um, and I think, you know, he does it because he really enjoys it. And also maybe, you know, because he got a sense of excitement for that time that he helps out in the government, which we see in the film. And, you know, it's not... A, to everybody on the outside, it's not real, but you know he's really involved in these patterns, and we see his whole his whole office is just covered in that, and that's a very autistic-like um, behavior to notice patterns to that intensity. And I guess he was also he did work for the government at some point, um, but reality and, and uh, not reality blurs in the film. And I think when that happens, though, it's his reality, so it is real, even though to the people on the outside it might not seem real. Also, John Nash has absolutely abysmal social skills, which further makes me think that he has the uh, autism Asperger's syndrome. As we see in the film, he doesn't really care about his classes. He doesn't care about teaching his classes. Uh, not that, that that's an autistic like behavior, but it's in the sense that he says, you know, people don't like me. I don't like them. Um, you know, um, like, he, like he says something like, I had uh, two servings of brain, but half a serving of, of like um, social skills. That That's actually, uh, wasn't exact, exact wording, but something to that extent. Um, we see him having odd gestures in the film, too. You know, he makes some very odd gestures, which can actually kind of do seem a bit autistic in nature. Um, I don't know if this is just Russell's Crow portrayal, um, the screenwriter, or if that was actually how John Nash... Nash's um, body language was. If that's how his body language was, and that's very much, very close to that of someone of autism. Um, and with women, he's very direct. You know, he doesn't know what to say. He's not into the whole, you know, games that people play. He just wants to get straight to the point, um, which proves to him to be disastrous until he finally meets the woman who becomes his wife. His wife. Um, and throughout the film, you know, we just see this um, detachment from reality. Um, and he obviously does have the schizophrenia, like I was saying. So I think he might have be, been a schizophrenic autistic, you know, it could be very well possible. Um, anything else to think about here? Um, I think those are the main things. You know, I, I love the film. It's an excellent film. And I think it also is, I, I, well, all right, in the context of the film, I would say that he has um, autism or Asperger's syndrome, in the context of the film. Whether or not in person John Nash is that way, you know, whether, you know, that, that's, that's true or not is another thing. But in the context of the film, it's a good film that shows a schizophrenic autistic. Um, you know, obviously films are an adaptation of life, not always true. Um, but this acting is really fantastic. Um, the movie's fantastic. It won Best Picture, so if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's awesome. You'll be glad you saw it, and uh, I give it like an A+. And I thank you very much and wish you the most awesome day of awesomeness.